and happy October. I'm a little bit late with my October favorites video. That's because my husband and I have been uh, redecorating our house and so our bedroom has been a complete disaster zone. I haven't even been able to really get to the wall to plug in the lights to film a video, let alone, you know, to see the floor. I've been a little bit sick, which you can probably hear in my voice. So I figured better late than never and uh, I wanted to do a video about a couple of my favorites last month. Um, if you read my blog, NadineJolieCourtney.com, you've probably seen that I posted about some of my favorites um, in an old-fashioned written typed post. When I was going through my products today to figure out which were the ones I wanted to talk about, a couple of them are the same and a couple of them are different. So, um, you know, I guess we'll just jump right in. So without a doubt, the number one product that I have been in love with, obsessed with this month, um, or last month, is the Beauty Blender. This is a $20 makeup sponge. And if you are anything like me, you probably have seen it, heard about it over the years, and thought, $20 for a makeup sponge, you can get it at the drugstore for like 10 cents. What's the big deal? I didn't try it, mostly because I'm not a liquid foundation person. I've been a mineral makeup person for the past 10 years. Um, haven't really had very much interest in using liquid foundations because whenever I do they tend to break me out. I finally caved a couple of weeks ago and I tried the Beauty Blender for the very first time and no joke it basically changed my beauty life. It's really easy to use, you just submerge it in water and it will literally expand to about twice its size. Um, actually I'm going to show you, hold on. So you see here is the before and I'll be right back. And here is the after. And I happen to actually have a spare beauty blender on hand so you can see how big it starts out as and how big it gets. The reason that the expansion size of the beauty blender is so important is because it means that when you're putting the liquid foundation on it, it's not gonna seep into the sponge, it's gonna actually stay on top of the sponge. So you're not gonna be wasting as much foundation and it's gonna buff into your skin a lot more easily. If you're tempted to get a dupe at the drugstore or at a makeup supply store, you can see, you can you know check out one of the other videos on YouTube, you can see that the other sponges will not expand the way this one does. And so yes, they might look the same, they might claim to work the same, but they're really not going to give you the same results, which is to say this flawless, unbelievable looking foundation makeup look that isn't cakey, it's the right amount of coverage, it's it's just like makeup magic. I've really, really been wowed by the Beauty Blender. It's There, there hasn't been a product, I would say, in the past couple of years that has been as personally revolutionary for me um, and as exciting and fun to use. And it's like... It's just a little makeup sponge, you know, it shouldn't be that exciting, but it is. So I highly, 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 highly recommend that you check it out. It's totally changed my makeup life, like I've said. It's opened up liquid foundation to me, it's opened up BB creams, it's opened up tinted moisturizer for me. So it's really been very exciting as a beauty person to find a product that has so thoroughly changed my beauty life. And if you're wondering what makeup I use with the Beauty Blender, um, today I actually just use Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer with it. Frequently I been using Bare Skin by Bare Minerals, which is their new liquid serum foundation. My favorite foundation to use with it is uh, Makeup Forever HD foundation. Um, this is for when I'm doing a video or when I'm doing a photo shoot or something like that and I want my makeup to look really, really flawless. The Makeup Forever HD line is unbelievable. I also love the HD powder um, and then I love the little eye primer as well. So, you know, all of the Makeup Forever foundation products I think are pretty stellar and the HD line in particular is really, really great. Last month I went to a Clarisonic event where they launched their new Sonic Radiance skincare system. And basically it's designed to brighten your skin to get rid of dark marks and spots. And over the past year, I think I haven't been quite as good with sunscreen as I used to be. And also I'm just getting older, you know, I'm 34 years old now, I'm not a kid anymore. And so I'm starting to see more ruddiness in my cheeks. Clarisonic, I don't think I need to tell you guys about this. You know, it's a phenomenal, amazing, Sonic Technology Cleansing Brush. It works really well. They have a whole bunch of varieties. And so when it's used in conjunction with the Sonic Radiance um, system, it helps the ingredients to penetrate more deeply and it's supposed to produce a faster result in seeing, you know, the radiance in your skin. I've only been using it for a few weeks, so it's not like I've peeled off my old skin to reveal new skin, um, but I have been really happy with it. I feel like it's working well so far. I intend to keep using it. 
The only thing I don't like about it is that I have fairly sensitive skin and I feel like the one-two combination of using the Clarisonic um, twice or even just once a day with the serum is a little much for my skin. So I only use the Clarisonic once a day now. I tend to use the serum every other day and then I'll switch it up and um, I'll just cleanse by hand and use my trusty uh, Kiehl's cleanser on, um, on the other days. All right, moving on to hair. There are two hair products from two different brands that I have been really, really loving the past month. Biotin and Collagen Shampoo, thick and full. And then this Redken Conditioner. It's a Redken Color Extend Magnetics. It's basically just a conditioner for color treated hair. OGX is not like an expensive line whatsoever. And I, think I received it actually in a beauty gift bag and was kind of like, all right, whatever, I'll try it. And I've been loving it. I've been loving it, loving it. Um, it smells good, first of all. I don't even know what this scent is. It's maybe it's like lavender or honey. I think it's honey actually. Yeah, it's honey. It smells amazing. And um, by the way, lavender and honey, I know smell nothing alike. So cut me some slack. Regardless, um, it smells really great and I pretty much use it every time I shampoo my hair. And it's pretty rare for me to stick with the same um, product over and over because I have so many products in my shower and in my bathroom that I'm trying to cycle through so that I can test them and tell you about them. Just every time I wash my hair, I want to use the shampoo. It works really well. I feel like my hair is clean afterward. And then the results are really great. I feel like my hair has a lot of body and fullness without being like crazy and stringy and kind of crunchy. The same holds true for the Redken conditioner. I'm not usually into color treating conditioners. I feel like, okay, great, they help your color stay put longer, but they don't actually work to condition and to treat the way some other really intensive conditioners do. And this one is like, it is a phenomenal intensive treatment conditioner. I actually really enjoy using it for the conditioning benefits, nothing to do with the color treating benefits. Of course I do color my hair. I have balayage done by Paul Jean, who is the best and I adore him and will go to no one else but him. He's in Beverly Hills. So he does color my hair, but we do kind of like a natural balayage technique. I just, I adore this conditioner. It's so great. It's pretty much all I want to use right now. So it's kind of the best of both worlds where if you have hair like mine that really needs a lot of moisture and gets parched very easily and is kind of damaged. You're going to want something very intensive and thick, but of course if you're coloring it, well you don't want your color to fade either. So this Redken conditioner is pretty amazing. Then finally, the very last product that I have been in love with, and as you can see it's pretty much down to the nub. We're done with it. It's this Monoi Tiki Tahiti Coconut Body Oil. This is something else I received in a gift bag, actually. I'm, I'm a beauty writer, but I'm also a travel writer. So I went to a travel event for Tahiti like months ago and I received this lotion, you know, put it in my beauty cabinet, didn't think very much of it. And I finally pulled it out a couple of months ago and I was just in love with it. It's, it's Coconut Oil Plus. So it smells, you know, like you would expect. It kind of smells like coconut oil, coconut butter. It also has tiare flower in it. Um, which is like gardenia, and it has some vitamin E. So it's super duper extra moisturizing. It smells great. If you use coconut oil as a body moisturizer, which I actually do, you know that kind of in the morning when you're showering, it's a bit thicker and you have to like squeeze it out and then rub it in your palms to help make it more liquidy. Same idea with this, where when you first use it, you're kind of really trying to get it out onto your palm. But once you emulsify it, it spreads all over you like butter. It's so silky and so amazing. And I'm going to have to try and find more of this. I don't even know where they sell it because I became so addicted to it. Um, and you can even see there's a little like nub of the... Um, some sort of bark or of a Manoi flower perhaps in there. It's, uh, yeah, scented with fresh tiare flowers. So anyhow, those were my favorites last month. I had many, many, many more favorites. A lot of them were makeup. Went to an amazing Mark event. Went to an amazing Charlotte Tilbury event. It's just a lot of great makeup to tell you guys about. And I'll have to save that for a future video because I am starving and it's time for me to go eat dinner. Hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, as always, you can find me on my blog at nadinejoliecourtney.com. I'm very excited because I'm officially revamping my blog and relaunching my blog this month. So I can't wait to show you guys that. And you can find me on Instagram at Nadine Jolie Courtney or on Twitter at Nadine Courtney. 
So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.